All right, 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 we're live, we're live, we're live. Did the dream go out? It didn't go out. Maybe we are screwed again. Maybe we are screwed again. What's up, dude? Word. Man, YouTube's so weird. Like, why isn't it going up? I didn't get it again. Sometimes it's just weird, dude. Sometimes so it doesn't send out the notifications. Well, the other thing too is it only um, it'll only send out notifications. Um, I think if you've done three videos within forty eight hours, it won't send out a notification. Oh my god! Wait, have I? Yes, I. Yeah, of course I have. Yeah, no, but that, no, that's not true because I've done that. I, my last live show, it sent it out. Actually, all my live shows, it sent it out. And I, I probably have done more than three. I've done three videos in forty eight hours. Let me uh, hey, hold on. What is it? YouTube not sent. Live, 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 live. Maybe it's 24 hours. Let me delete this. Delete. <coughs> delete. 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 Tweet. So I think, um, you know how we were talking a little bit about, um, you know how we were talking a little bit about earlier today about uh, streaming, like with different apps. Yeah. There's another one called Stream Elements, and you download OBS Live, and I think that's the solution. Possibly, I have to look into it more. It, it takes it's so long for me to like figure out how to set it up and stuff. But I think that's going to be the solution. Man, I'm more like I think that's the solution to. Um, doing everything correctly so you can use this but also get some graphical overlays and things like that and what which one is it that you're talking about stream elements it's free uh -huh. stream and then you download obs live so it's 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 like a it's like a it's like it's made from obs basically youtube what do you i say okay i'll okay. be in a minute what's up yeah Michael? so you can get three notifications in a 24-hour period so if you've done three in 24 hours, it won't send one out. That's lame, dude. But I don't know. Like I said, I've, I've definitely broken that rule hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Without I know, that's that. just the only thing that I could think of because I know you do two videos a day. So I didn't yeah, know. I, right, right, right. And I've done, and I've definitely done more than that too. Maybe it's because right. sometimes we start the stream like late. But I mean, I, I don't know. I think the last one didn't work because I was sitting, I had it sitting in the it was um, idle for a while. Yeah, I was sitting idle for a really long time because I was trying to put my son to, to bed. Ah, that could be it. I'm not going to be on too long tonight. I'm getting ready to go to bed here in like, whoa, whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. 15 minutes or so, but I wanted to hop in for a minute at least and say hi and mm -hmm. shoot the breeze. Yeah. I can't wait till they turn this into 1080p because 720p kind of looks garbagey. It will yeah. be nice. You need Especially really nice yeah. lighting to at least make it look halfway, not garbage. I noticed notifications don't oh, well, let me click on this. Don't always go out when it's been set up for a while. Yeah, Michael Pepper talk. Say that three times fast, uh, Odyssey. See if you can do it. Michael Pepper talk, Michael Pepper talk, Michael Pepper talk. Ooh. Oh, you miss you miss tech though. Michael Pepper Tech Talk. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I was looking at the screen. I just did what he said. I, I did what I was supposed to do. It's like if Samurai. you guys want to join live uh, with us, hey, what's up, Sammy? What's happening? Uh, you, you have the link right there. Click that link. You can come on talk live with us. Um, you don't have to stay on forever. I probably won't keep you on forever. But, um, yeah, come and talk with us. Ask a question online. Mm -hmm. Wiz you could live chat on weekdays. Also make my life funner. What? <laughs> we did a live chat that, during the week. I did. We did one on Friday, dude. You were there. Come on. <laughs> no, I think he means like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Tuesday. Hey, well, it's the I might actually day to stream, yo. I actually might do that. What's up, Samurai? Not much. What's up with you guys? Not much. Also, uh, you don't tell people your real name, huh? It's Zach. No, I know. <laughs> Zach. I like the uh, artsy stuff you have on your wall back there, man. Thanks, so. man. The, the nice Hopefully little squares. I got the 20 box and the new bug box and the new watch box. Hopefully, build up the collection. Two things, Samurai. I can totally see a hundred thousand subscriber plaque hanging right in one of those little frames right there in the future. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. but, but beyond That's that, a lot of my friends are like, 
Who's Tech Samurai? He's cute. It's a girl. Don't worry. But I'm just going to go by Jerry this evening. You're the man. Out of all the guys here, you're the you're the guy that all the girls are liking. Just FYI. Uh -oh. The yeah. girls are here for Tech Samurai. <laughs> he's also the youngest. Also known as Zach. Yeah, he's <laughs> the baby. Fair. Just out yeah, of diapers. Baby, baby, it's okay. baby. What's up, Tom? Welcome to Tom. the stream. Welcome to the stream. Tom and hey. Michael okay. and Tom. Hey. Uh, all right. Hey, Eddie. What's up? Eddie Audit. should join, dude. Eddie, I'm Eddie has been on a bit. We'll join you in a bit. Ask Tom. Tom, make Ooh. sure you're uh, you're not on the potato camera like uh, Odyssey was a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it was a real serious, uh, real serious case of the potato camera. You actually look amazing today, right now. Odyssey. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't well. taken off all my makeup yet. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, because you look freaking amazing. Samurai, oh. What's up, sir? I'm still waiting for my McDonald's freebies. Yeah, man. Can you not oh, me too. Can you hook us up with some digital download code, like digital codes or something for the app? Nah, I don't think so. He gets, I love how uncomfortable he gets once we start asking him for McDonald's. Stuff. He's like, Dude, I wish I got like giving off that stuff. That would be awesome. Like if you guys come here, yeah, you can get half off food and stuff. But see, you gotta buy your own McDonald's, man. You know, oh yeah, get your own franchise going. Yeah, I went to McDonald's right now. It only costs like three point two million. Oh, I forgot. The the buy, they're gonna remodel the place, and they're like, "Yeah, we pulled out a small loan. They pulled out a four million loan." Dang. Right? Yeah, small loan, huh? <laughs> well, for McDonald's, four million is like twenty eight cents to me. Yeah, so. it's all relative. Right? It's all relative. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm hungry. See, I had a. Uh, I I, I need dinner. Guys. I got five guys today. What else would you have for dinner? Wait, do you guys know? Do you guys know a little trick about Five Guys? If you get a bacon cheeseburger, you can get extra cheese and extra bacon. I guess as much as you want for free. Oh, I've never had bacon before. Wait, what? What? Yeah. Like on a burger a and like never had pork. And you're a religious thing then, right? Uh, growing up, it was a religious thing, but then okay. after I kind of got out of that, it was just a health conscious thing. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no pepperoni, no. None of that stuff. Oh, pepperoni's good too. Yeah. Have turkey you tried pepperoni. like turkey bacon or something? Yeah, turkey bacon, sure. All day long. That's pretty good. I yeah. I mean, yeah. beef hot dogs, you know, just just no pig. <clears throat> I, I'm so committed to getting rid of pigs that I eat it as much as possible. I'm hoping we can eradicate them. <laughs> there you go. That's one way to think of it. That is one way to think of it. <laughs> Did you guys see the I don't I, and I don't mean to put you on the spot because I don't watch a lot of tech videos. So if you didn't, I don't care. Did you guys see the video I put out today showing the new fold two renders? And if so, what do yeah. you think of them? I don't watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I'm somewhat impressed. You know, I like the fact that the front screen has as minimal bezels as I think that they can possibly do. Yeah. It's still a little narrow, you know, overall, you know, kind of candy bar style. But I think, I, that's I, look at, I, I, think I think it's making me lean more toward wanting a full two than, you know, just keeping my Galaxy Note 10 plus 5G. So, so you might we'll switch. See. We'll see. We'll see. I'm interested. I think the biggest hurdle for me to get over with any of these phones coming out in a couple of months is what kind of trade in value are we looking at for current phones? Yeah. I would imagine around 650 for the Note 10 Plus 5G. Because yeah, that's I'm, kind of like, I'm hoping they'll give me at least nine was around that. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll give me at least seven for the for the S20 Ultra plus trade ins plus the extra bonuses, you know. Because, you know, they give like 250 for pre-ordering or whatever. Yeah, earbuds <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah. I just remember I sold that stuff last time. I got the uh, the Galaxy Fit Watch Fit 2 or whatever it's called. Yep. I got that right here. Yeah. I, I just turned around. Well, not that one. What's what's the other one? The This is the Fit. This is the Galaxy Fit. The active? The Active, yeah. The active. I get them confused. The, yeah. I got the Active 2 and I just sold that sucker. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> The um, I don't to go to so two things. Well, I'm gonna ask you what price it has to be for you to buy it to poets. Just a quick price. What price would it have to be for you to even consider it? See, I'm a little bit different. If I want something, I don't really look at the price all that much. So yeah. whether it's twelve hundred or seventeen hundred, I'd still buy it if I want it. You know? Okay. Um. So. And then the other thing, Odyssey. I think street uh, trade in offers. If you like, I've kind of talked about it in some of my videos, but like you think about like. 
if you trade in one of your phones for like a tablet, for instance, the, the trading values are crappy. But when you do it with a phone, another of one of their phones, it's usually good. Mm -hmm. I think you, I think you'll get at least seven or eight hundred. Probably not eight hundred. No, it's I probably gonna be seven, seven with like yeah. two fifty and extras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll probably seven hundred and then hundred. Yeah, uh, fifty or a hundred dollars in extras. Yeah. Yeah. So what are, you're not getting? I forget. Uh, I always forget. Uh, um, Samurai, you're not getting it, right? The fold two? No, I'm going for the um, no. Uh, I think the Fold 2 I'm probably not going to get because I have the Fold now. And I've only had it for like four months. I'm I, i, I I'm perfectly happy with it. I don't see the need to upgrade just for the the, the minimal upgrades. Maybe the Fold 3. Yeah, see, I know, I know that. I'll definitely do like the renting thing or whatever the program's call with them for the Fold Access. 2. Access. But the Note series, I need a phone for my own personal phone. Mm. So I'm going to switch to Note. Does McDonald's give you a phone? <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're, aren't you? Aren't you like an assistant manager or something? He's probably got ads on it. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm one of the managers there, but no, we don't get personal yeah. phone. Okay. I think you see the dirty decision. looks people give me though that I'm driving a Tesla and I work at McDonald's. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they get so pissed. <laughs> Why? What's okay. what's one thing? Hey, what's one thing you don't like about the Tesla? Honestly, like what's what's something you don't really like, or maybe you don't hate, but you don't like about it? I would say like the middle console. We had we just bought a wrap for it because like it's just so fingerprint. Um, like back of mm. phones, you guys know back of phones like fingerprint crazy. Like it just looks so disgusting after a day. So we had to buy a whole wrap for the center console, and we wrapped it in like this leather looking rap so it actually looks pretty neat now i can't remember yeah. do y'all have any kids yeah y'all got one right two two two. Yeah, two. Oh, okay yeah well, that's, mm -hmm. yeah they'll, they'll put things all, all, over, all over the place oh yeah i actually got hot cheeto dust on the outside because hey jeff's here that. in the house jeff if, uh, uh, so if anybody wants to join and then includes you l half a i i oh well that's not what i want i'll just put it anyway why not if you guys want to join the, just look through the chat um, or I'll, I'll put it in there. You guys can talk live with us. You can be a Did YouTuber. You guys watch the live earlier. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, really pleased with that. We were talking about that in the previous stream for a second there. Yeah. Yeah. I have something. Okay. I have a bit of a thing to admit though. I've never actually prior to tonight. I've never watched an iJustine video. See, I brought I bought I half really of my it. video gear and audio gear because of iJustine. She actually does a, a a lot of real world use scenarios for using her equipment and you know so i don't really pay attention to the guys that just like read off specs on a list and be mm -hmm. like this is what it does yeah. and boom. i like it when like she's in the middle of nowhere and she's like hey this is the audio or like i'm on a boat this is the audio with the lav and all that stuff so i i've heard good things about her i've just never yeah. seen one of her videos before yeah she's good and i interviewed her at ces and um then i also did an unboxing behind the scenes at the samsung galaxy experience store uh doing the z flip phone when mm -hmm. that came out so it was like her, Jenna, and uh, John Redinger were all there. Uh, so it was a really good time, and uh, kind of just learned a lot because you know they're the OGs of YouTube. Well, they've been around, around for like ten yeah. years on YouTube, so a lot to learn. So let's let's uh, let, let me jump back into the thing right here. What do you guys think about the? Uh, I'll ask uh, uh, Samurai. What do you think about the iPhone 120 Hertz? Battery drain. What do you think? I think it's going to be absolutely fine. What do you think? I think it's going to be fine, mostly because it's Apple. They wouldn't put it out there if it was going to be a problem. Especially since this last year, this year, they came out with such a great battery on their phone. I don't think they would want to ruin that reputation they just got. Yeah. yeah. Uh, George, aloha, aloha. He must be in Hawaii. I'm debating if I should trade in my Note 10 Plus for the Fold 2 or wait for the Fold 2 Lite. Opinions greatly appreciated. I would say okay. if you need the S Pen, don't do it. But if you don't care about the S Pen, take the dive. Live a little. You don't like it, just return the phone. You have two weeks, especially if you buy it from Samsung. There's no um, return policy with it in terms of having to pay a restocking fee. What do you think to Poets? I'm going to – I know myself, so I'm going to have my deciding factors when I actually go to that Samsung Experience store at the Glendale you know, area – and pick it up, hold it, fold it a few times, you know, try to write with my finger because it's not going to be a stylist. <laughs> if I'm happy with all that, then I'm going to dive in and get it. But if I'm just like, you know what, it's it just feels too plasticky for me on the screen, then that'll that's probably my, be a deal That's breaker, my you know? word right there, dude. Because yeah. I don't want to be touching the thing story. and I feel like I'm touching on like soft plastic all the time. What about you? So what do you think you should do, Samurai? 
I think if he really wants to fold, go for the regular fold. I wouldn't go for the light. But Yeah, I wouldn't go for the light either. What about you, Odyssey? You have the fold one. Should he jump from the Note 10 Plus, and if so, why? To the fold two, if so, why? No, he should get the renewed fold off of Amazon for 1200 bucks and save a bunch of money. It's not going to be that much of a performance upgrade. Uh, I don't why know. Do you, I think the fold such a difference. Odyssey. <laughs> I would say go, go full bore. Don't buy the light. Go big or go home, or go full or go home. You probably already saw that. this, yeah, uh, yeah. poets. But there you go. I think the light is going to be like the redheaded stepchild because you got the Note Twenty coming out and the full two. Like, what kind of demographic is the light really, truly marketing toward? When I don't even know somebody is going to spend that. that much money on it, though. You know? Is the light the one that has no front screen kind of thing? Yeah, it's just like a little tiny bar for notification. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that's a tablet. That's just come out as a tablet. Honestly, yeah. some people like the folding form factor. I mean, I really enjoy the Z Flip. I actually enjoy the Z Flip more than I do the fold. So, yeah, but it opens up like a phone, though. You know what I mean? Like that mm -hmm. one's just gonna be opening up like a tablet. What do you guys? How big of Odyssey? You have the the, the fold one. Do you think if it came out in a ten inch uh, piece or whatever, in a ten inch screen, uh, would you? Do you think that would be ridiculously too big, or do you, you think it'd be okay? <laughs> that would be ridiculously too big. <laughs> like the seven inch is already like it, it, I mean, it's sizable enough already. You, you don't let me. They're gonna have like a trifold, and the sucker is gonna be the size of an iPad Pro. <laughs> they call it the Transformer. It's got like four different folds to get the <laughs> Phil D, welcome to the stream. Good to see you as always. And look at his little screen, his little picture. Isn't that the best picture you ever saw in your life? Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you guys think Apple will still keep the 18 watt charger in the box or put the 20 watt for the way? Absolutely not. I just, I just heard that they weren't going to put a charger. Did you guys That's see that? That's what I heard too. From multiple if they're going to sell Wait, you what? a 20 watt charger on the they're side, not they're not charger in the box. They're not putting an 18 in the box. They might Who throw wants? a five watt in the box. Who wants a charger in the box? Mm -hmm. You guys know that that reference? Charlie in the box. Charlie in the Rudolph box. the red nosed reindeer. Nope. No. Come on. <laughs> the claymation <laughs> one. Island of misfit toys. That sounds familiar. Uh, you, you can Sorry. keep talking. I'm still not going to know. <laughs> uh, Eddie's thinking, what's up? I see you went back to the – well, Latrell. to be fair, I, I the other ones uh, – he so last night I did like a 20-minute stream using stream – what's the one? Not stream element. Stream element. Stream lab. Stream lab. And I had to use Google Meet, and I, it was too – convoluted so i'm gonna try to use stream element but i need to work on it i didn't have enough time to figure it out and build the the set around it so i want to use that eventually and hopefully integrate this into that because i like this video chat options so much easier than any other thing out there right now and it doesn't really have any limitate well, it has some limitations but it's not it's, it's just so simple and easy it's like three clicks and you're good to go exactly like um that. Ever used Spectrum Mobile? I have not. Spectrum Mobile is a cable company. They piggyback off of, I think, Verizon. Right. I think Verizon. I think they're very yeah. similar to Xfinity Mobile. Yeah. You get, you get throttled very early if you use a lot of data. Yeah. Uh, will Samsung ever complete, compete with Apple's ARM processors tech? They well, they're doing that now. They, yeah, they do. The Snapdragon. Yeah, book us. yeah, yeah, they do. But, it, yeah, right. but it's not – can you run when – I forget you yeah. can't run Windows. Yeah, I, I run everything on it that I use on a daily basis for the Galaxy Book S. You can run six. We can't run sixty-four bit. Not sixty-four, but like all the full Office suite. Um, obviously, you know, I use a uh, Edge Chromium as my main web, web browser, and uh, a lot of other apps as well that I still have installed on my uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop Three. The only app that I use dedicatedly that I can't install on there is DaVinci Resolve. Mm -hmm. All my other apps are 32-bit compatible as well, and it's fast. So I don't see any difference in speed loading Microsoft Word or web browser between the two laptops. Nice. And it lasts for three days You know, on my active use. It's an incredible battery life and its own 4G connection. Nice. Sure, yeah. Latrell. Go ahead. Uh, yes, Burl Ives. See, Phil knows what I'm talking about. That was like... You know, I can't believe you guys have seen that. Movie. Remember the claymation Christmas movies? At least, yeah, I saw. Yeah. It, I just don't remember that part. I don't remember any of it. Come on, bro. Yeah. No, I don't know what you're talking 
And you might, because it was like from the six. Well, I, I wasn't born, but it's like from the the. I think it was the seventy, late sixties, early seventies. It was kind of weird. I was like NBC, NBC all the time. Yeah, Whoever made that video was obviously uh, indulging in things. <laughs> Love it. I use uh, Cox. Hmm. Well, the same thing. Yeah, I have Xfinity. It's all the same. Oh, Just depends on what part of the U.S. you're in. Yeah, I have Gigabit from Spectrum. Sammy, what? What I, Who's your internet service provider at home? Uh. I don't even know. He's I on hour thirteen hundred of his free OS. I don't even know what company. I think we got their charter and crap, but charter. Hmm. You, you remember back in the day, the old uh, AOL free hour CDs, like fourteen hundred free hours trial, and then you go get another <laughs> disc and create another log on. He, he won't remember, right. but I and actually, well, the three of us will remember, but he won't. <laughs> we were getting those CDs before uh, before Zach was born. Yeah, <laughs> I bought my first stock using AOL's stock trading platform when I was 16 years old. It was wow. uh, a I didn't even stocks off Robinhood. <laughs> I didn't even know they, they, they had one. Tom, yeah. I'll bring you on in a second. Um, yeah, I didn't even know they had one. And I bought a uh, Atari Atari stock at nine dollars because the Atari Jaguar system was coming out, and, the and Jaguar. sold it a month later at twelve dollars. Yeah. yeah, the first 64 bit <laughs> system that was. Two 32 bit processors yeah. in it. Exactly. <laughs> what was your, um, well, okay. What was your, uh, like most memorable gaming system from the time you grew up to maybe like 18 years old? For me, I'll, it was either Dreamcast or N64, like the one I liked the most, got the most amount of memories out of. What about you guys? My probably one. Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo for you. Hmm. Um, what about you, the poets? ColecoVision. What is that? that old? How old are you? You're, aren't you like near my age? <laughs> I'm 43. Yeah, okay, so I'm 40, so you're close to me, but yeah. Yeah, ColecoVision. We played the hell out of like Smurfs and Zaxxon and Flipper Slipper. <laughs> yeah, like, I have a Zaxxon. whole long list of names of games that we could, I could just go down. And, uh, <laughs> you're you're yeah. 40 and you're going with your most memorable was Nintendo 64 or the Dreamcast? Hmm. Yeah, I well no, I had Nintendo. Don't remember, I loved my Nintendo, but but like, what's up, Tom? Space, always, Channel, Space brother, Channel Five did it for you, didn't it? I was always playing my brother's games, and then like the sixty four was like mine. The Dreamcast was mine, so I had like so I have so many great memories back then of those those systems. I probably clocked like five hundred hours on NBA Jam. <laughs> oh, oh, I yeah. love that Easy. game! Boom Easy. shakalaka. Easy. <laughs> No, mind you, this isn't including PC stuff because PC games blew all that out the water for me. See, I didn't play PC games. I didn't play yeah, I've been doing PC games from the get-go. Tom, like, how old are you? 42. Did you play video games growing up? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, I played that Commodore 16, 64 games. Like, oh, okay. never there you go. Uh, Commodore King Ages or MZX games or whatsoever. So, yeah. <laughs> now, here's the, the true tech question. <laughs> Who actually played games on BBSs? Oh, no, I, used to, I used to play like a wrestling thing on IRC. Like we type what you're gonna do. And did you uh, use IRC? I used IRC. I used to use IRC all the time. Yeah, but like uh, Ansky, you know. Um, so I used to dial into local BBSs and play a game called Trade Wars, which was amazing. And uh, there's like a whole cult following that still is playing the game today. So like they've made their own servers and everything cool. just to log in and play like 64 rounds. I think it is 64 turns and then log off. And then you can't play again until the next day. So <laughs> a huge community. They have it on Linux servers right now. I, I miss Oregon Trail. <laughs> Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah, it was great. We used to do this thing because, you know, people die along the way. It's like you'll get dysentery. Your kid will get cholera. Timmy yeah. will break a leg. So... We would just you know, you make a little tombstone and you put their uh, you know, put the little thing on there for for what it says whenever they would die. So as you're going along the way, you know people would see them on the trail and we just put funny stuff on them. <laughs> <laughs> or we'd name them dumb names. Oh gosh, like Dopey died of a broken leg again. <laughs> All right, let me jump back in here. Streamyard uh, is nice because it's easy to pop up comments and invite people and runs on basically anything. Just added iPhone and iPad. Support. I know I haven't checked into the iPad and iPhone. And I heard about it. I haven't looked at it too much, though. Uh, Do you have an iPad? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. iPad Pro 2020, 11 inch. Oh, nice. Yeah, I still have the 2015, the OG iPad, and it is oh, rocking strong. Gee, man, the, the iPad, I, Apple makes great products that last forever, yeah. man. They, they do amazing with that stuff.
I mean, there has literally been no reason to upgrade it. It it can like edit three, four K streams at the same time. Like, what yeah. else do I need to do? <laughs> I'm excited about their either their ARM processor uh, MacBook, especially if it like maybe maybe gets better battery life. Um, oh, it'll it'll definitely get better battery life. It's gonna be like one third of the power consumption for the same level level of power output. Would you yeah. guys think? I guess let's go price wise. What do you guys think that's gonna if they come up with a MacBook? Um, or they will, but a MacBook ARM pro, uh, ARM ARM laptop. What do you what do you think it's going to cost? I would think like a thousand. Uh, I would say that. I mean, it depends on what what that. they go with. I mean, if it's a thirteen inch screen and eight gigabytes of RAM and like two fifty six, and yeah, it's probably going to be. My guess would be it's probably going to be like between nine ninety nine and eleven ninety nine. See, I'm 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 going by the Galaxy Book S, which is a thousand. And knowing Apple, they're going to put their Apple Premium on it as well. So, you know, uh, I'd say at least thirteen hundred. You know, just because it's Apple. The big yeah. question for me is just how it's going to fit in with the lineup. Because it's like, are they just going to throw it in and still keep the existing MacBook Air, MacBook Pro? And I, I don't know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that actually, that architecture could make me not switch, but actually get an Apple product. Because my only Apple product is the iPad Pro. 12.5 inch or 12.9 inch. Yeah. I don't know. The iOS 14, it might make me switch someday, dude. I mean, it got a little bit of ways to go, but. Yeah, because the um, the updates, you know, the iPad OS, that's actually made my lap, my iPad Pro more usable in my day-to-day -day functions, um, you know, because I can now, like, put in a thumb drive in it and, like, share files, stuff like that, which was big for me. And I use the pencil a lot to take notes and everything. And then I use Microsoft OneNote, so it just syncs with everything else, my phone, my laptops, my PC. So it's like part of my daily routine, actually. Um, so I don't know. So I like do you it, use Microsoft um, stuff on the Note phone you have a lot? Like, yeah, every day. Yeah. Every day? Yeah. yeah. What is it always? Every day. I have a good question for you guys. What uh, he's he's not asking us a question, but what what was your your uh, growing up? What was your your chat app as a teenager to talk with your friends? Mine was mine was AIM actually. AOL hey, Instant Messenger, baby. Yeah. What did you That's use, um, uh, Tom? Growing up, ICQ. A teenager. ICQ. ICQ. Yep. ICQ. Yep. I used ICQ a little bit, but like, what was that was your main one you used the most growing up, like as a teenager? Uh, yeah, we didn't have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot different. Um, that probably would be it. Yeah. 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 What about you, Samurai? Do you, do you use any kind of texting app or chatting app growing yeah, it's up? Most of them. Facebook and stuff. But Snapchat. like Facebook, and then like in high school is when Snapchat came out. So Snapchat was a big thing when that first came out. Hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still kind of young. You got to realize that. What about you, DePoets? What did you use as a teenager, mo mostly? When I was a teenager, I was my mind was blown when you can talk to somebody on Prodigy and you were on AOL. So, <laughs> yeah. So I remember that day. I was like, holy cow, because we were on Prodigy and we had separate AOL stuff. So that was amazing. Um, <laughs> but then I got into ICQ and eventually I got into AIM and MSN at the same time. Mm. And... Uh, so I had like kind of three platforms. None of them were my primary though, because I was just kind of, I grew up into it. So they all kind of like, kind of became who I was type of thing. Going back to the uh, video game, some shout outs here, GameCube. I did have that, but I wasn't super in love with it. Uh, Dreamcast was special. He's right. It had, it had a modem. It but wait, Dreamcast? GD that was, Drive. That was the one that had so much issues though, right? No. The only issue was it didn't have any games and it was too expensive. No, it was $199. It was a good price. It was well priced. The games had good, great games. That really we, we went through two of them. We kept having to return them because they wouldn't play the games. You thought maybe the Xbox 360 was like no, that? No, no, this was Dreamcast because I was in college when we got it. Mine was good. I didn't, have, uh, I didn't hear any problems about the Dreamcast, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Television and Atari from Michael Pepper. Tuck, tuck. Michael first Pepper. one I remember is the PlayStation's first gaming system I really remember. I mean, my dad and stuff had like the, an old, I don't know what you guys call it. It has the little red knob thingy. <laughs> and, 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 and do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad had that. We played that a little bit as a kid, but mostly it was PlayStation. That was my first I really had the family get together and play and stuff. 
<laughs> NFL 64 for the Nintendo 60. That was the funny thing about Nintendo 64. Everything had 64 in the title. Remember that? Yeah. You know what game that I wish that they would have made a sequel to that they never did? It was Wave Race, man. I loved Wave Race. Yeah, I liked that game, too. That was fun. Oh. Like, no, you're right. They didn't. Did they? No, they never, like... I figured eventually, like the GameCube or one of the other consoles, they'd bring it back, but it's just never made a comeback. You know, a console was really good was uh, Turbo Graphics 16. I really enjoyed. That's how that. you knew that uh, your your friend's parents had money if they had a Turbo Graphics 16. <laughs> Those suckers were expensive. It was kind of expensive. Like yeah. nobody had one, and it's like, yeah, the rich kid down the street. It was like, hey, my dad said you can come over uh, out of the Neo Geo. <laughs> yeah, Neo Geo was ridiculously expensive for no reason. Yeah, that was like five hundred bucks and had like six whole games. It's like yeah. you can play Metal Slug or Metal Slug Two. Right, right. What was Some your uh, was cool? I know we've kind of talked about this. What was your uh, first computer, Tom? What was your first computer? Well, that will be the forty under twenty six Essex twenty five megahertz. I think that'll be it. <laughs> But again, I got the Commodore, so the 1664, Amiga, I got all that stuff. Okay. Uh, and then my, my brother came up with first Apple, so he thought it was a good idea to uh, hook that to the internet when where there was only text browsing to begin with, so that was fun. Mine was a Sony VAIO uh, 200 MMX processor, and it had and mm -hmm. I had AOL as my internet service provider. I think it was – maybe it was 33.6 at first. Then I got – yeah, it was 33.6, then I got a 56K modem. What about you, um, Samurai? First computer? I uh, never really had computers, honestly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Max, through, through the commercial. What's a computer? <laughs> no, like, <laughs> we've had computers in the house. So, like, we had an old uh, Mac, but not old, but we got it from, like, 2010. I don't know. Uh, what about you, Odyssey? I knew this was a 486, right? If I remember right. Shoot, no, the first one I ever built was a 386. My very first computer, whenever I was growing up, uh, we had a like a 1986 model AT&T uh, 8088 process, uh, computer. But they didn't even have a hard drive. It just had dual five and a quarter inch floppies to run DOS. Mm -hmm. Ah, floppy disks. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's the, 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 yeah. the giant floppy disks that were truly floppy. <laughs> Four and a quarter ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, uh, the poets? Um, well, we had initially we had the Atari XE, which was a, a weird style of computer with like really huge buttons on it and stuff. And uh, it did have like a floppy disk drive on it, but it also was kind of a hybrid. It had cartridges, so you could play games too. So it was like a weird console slash PC mix. Mm. Um, but then the first PC I ever built was a myself was a 486 dx2 uh, 33 megahertz 12 megs of ram and uh i don't remember how, how small that hard drive was but it was unnecessarily large i remember I that i think my hard drive was either what were they doing? Hard drive? Hard drives in 90 I, I got that computer in like 95 or 96 how big were the hard drives back then 100 to 500 megabytes 100 to 500 megabytes yeah right, yeah my very first one i built was about 1995 and it was a cyrix 386 yeah. um and i had a 190 megabyte hard drive it's crazy yep. it's so small yep. so i remember we bought my dad bought a 586 our first pentium he got it in 1995 and it was 75 megahertz it had a 540 megabyte hard drive which was actually really big then and he got so pissed off at me because I installed Mech Warrior 2 and the maximum file install was like 420 <laughs> megs. And there was only enough room on the computer for Windows and Mech Warrior, and I deleted everything else, and then he got real mad at me. Wow. Here's a good one. Uh, what guy, what's your favorite trilogy game like Halo, Call of Duty, Uncharted, Grand Theft Auto? Trilogy's hard because I don't know if I have a lot of games that I like that are just only three games. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just I'll. I'll Let's just say if it has three games or more. Let's just say series. Uh, that, we don't have a lot of trilogies anymore. Battlefield mine, at that point. Mine's Resident Evil, I guess. Resident Evil's mine. Yeah, mine too. What about you guys down below? I would go for the adventure games more. Like this which, one. Yeah, yeah, which, which one, so, though? Like, what series? So it's going to be uh, Maniac Mansion, Zach McCracken, and eventually Dave Tentacle stuff. That's, that's my games, yeah. What about you, Sammy? <laughs> Sammy I would actually go for Grand Theft Auto. I've always loved those, mostly because my parents said I couldn't play them and stuff like that. So, 
I only cool. played Grand Theft Auto One, the very first one. That dude, was I like love the top the first down. One. Yeah, the top just down. Like run it around. Yeah, dude. If you That's could, the only one I played. If you could last longer than three seconds on the super bike, you were like pro level. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember. Oh, oh, the a, the AI the AM sound effects was like a closing door, wasn't it? It was like. Ah. I think so, but you could yeah. also change them. Oh, of course, but I mean, like the basic ones. Oh, yeah. You uh, guys I can't remember. I don't know the first phone I ever bought. I don't. It was a flip phone, but I don't. I I have no idea. Maybe like a Kia Sarah or something like that. The first mm-hmm. one I ever got was that little Nokia brick that you could play uh, Snake on. Snake yeah. on, yeah. One. Yeah. One ten, wasn't that? Something like that. Well, yeah. I can't remember because there was like fifty of them because they just kept changing the numbers on them. Yeah. Uh, it was Panasonic versus Nokia in here, so it's, you get two choices for the basic uh, models. You know. there, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot. Back then, like cell phone companies were a lot more fragmented because back then it was like Houston Cellular here, and then it went to Singular, and then it went to at and it's, it's changed like four yeah. times. I just my remember mom, having to go to Radio Shack to pay my bill because I used to prepay. <laughs> so I had to Radio Shack to prepay my so I think I had Sprint at the time. You, uh, Tom, do you even know what Radio Shack is? You probably don't, right? Yeah, well, that, that's your. Uh, well, I know that's what's the sponsor of the Tour de France team from Lance, right? That's the, that's the part that I know. But it's probably uh, the shop you buy to your mobile stuff, I think. Yeah. It was like uh, they they had like everything for electronics, batteries, and like oh, yeah. And yeah. stuff and all kinds you of like transistors. Yeah, okay, they eventually had computers and monitors and all mm. everything. They, they had a lot of stuff. I used to love going in there just to see what they had. You know, oh, I love my little toy store. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, it's funny talking about cell phones and stuff. My my mom has had the same cell phone number since her very first cell phone, like 28 years ago. Wow. <laughs> That's Thank impressive. You. The exact same like number, number, never changed. What did you say, Tom? I still do. I had, uh, I had, we could choose our number. When, when you bought your first phone, you can choose really? your cellular number. So they came up with the alignment of a lot of the same numbers. So. I had a good number. So how, how are your numbers in over there? Are they because in America it's uh three, three, four, the, like the you know three numbers, three numbers, four numbers. What is your setup as? If well, you call- we have uh, well, uh, every mobile number starts with zero six, and then eight numbers. That's it. So it's ten numbers in total. How many numbers? Ten. 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 What is ten. that? Ours is ten. Is it Ours is ten. ten. Yeah, it is ten. Yep. Okay, so it's the same. Of course, I still remember the days back when you didn't even need to dial an area code. You just, you could just dial the seven numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, we did the zero six, so <laughs> there's no area code there. Yeah. All of Houston was one area code, and now we have like six. <laughs> I remember having to pay attention to what regions I was driving in when I was in college because I didn't want to go out of my service area too often, and then I'd be roaming. Oh, uh, yeah. Roaming was terrible. <laughs> Man, oh, my gosh. That'd be rough. When yeah. I went off and joined the military, we were out in the middle of nowhere, and I thought I had switched it to the roaming plan and I didn't. And I got a phone bill. It was like $700 yeah. God. And, and don't roam and then call long distance. That's how they get you. to. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a game you guys remember playing with like your family or like a bunch of friends and like you really enjoyed it for me? It was probably like Mario Kart 64. Yeah. yeah Mario, Mario Kart was a big one. And then, uh, we used to do Soul Calibur a lot. We would have Soul Calibur tournaments. Soul Calibur. Mm. Uh, I'd have like five of my buddies come over and pick up a bunch of pizzas and just have like Soul Calibur tournaments till three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that sounds like you still do it, dude. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> don't try, don't try and put me in a box. Yeah. Back in nineteen ninety seven. My family mostly played on Connect and stuff, and we played like. I don't know. My sister always had because it was my sister, sister's Xbox and stuff. We always had to play like Just Dance or whatever on the Connect. Just Dance. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Got yeah, a bad. lot of people. Sorry. You can go ahead. I, I don't want to cut you off again. Oh, no. I was just saying that I was pretty darn good at it. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, y'all guys remember back whenever you would rent video games and they'd only be for like two days? Three days. No, three days, wasn't it? Oh, depending where you had two, three days. It's like, all right, I got to stay up till four o'clock in the morning so I can try and beat this before I return it. <laughs> it's expensive, too. It's like it got up to like, I guess it wasn't that bad. It would be like 10 bucks for three days or something. But did you ever do Gamefly or any of those things like the the mail order ones? I did Gamefly when it first started out, but it was like $24 a month. Like It, it was yeah. expensive. 
Yeah. I remember when Netflix was like that. Uh, Netflix oh, was you, great. Sam, you, right, you don't remember that. Mm, yes, no. I do, actually. Like, my parents <laughs> used to do it and stuff. And then when it came out like on like that, it was like so mind-blowing, dude. Dude, I used to take I I do Netflix and I I and I'd, I'd rip the DVD to my hard drive and then burn it onto a blank. And I, I had like 400 movies on all these blank discs. And now the stream is demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to listen to me. What about Tom, did you ever um have a game that you guys played as with your friends or your family? Well, friends like that's the old time long games as in you know you get your PC in the back of your bike and go to a location where other people are and simply hook them up with your terminated stuff and go let me ignore this call first hmm. okay. uh, so, uh, so it's gonna be quake one or something that's what oh, gonna be quake it quake one yeah okay did you play team fortress or right, capture the flag yeah capture the flag always yeah capture oh that was so good use a little mace thing and throw it on the wall and grapple yeah. <laughs> or just snap, snap ring the entire time and people start hating you yeah that's it <laughs> Yeah, I used to, that was great. Quake One was one of the ones uh, you could mod stuff and make custom games for. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got that. You got the. You also had the the uh, what's it? The, oh, never mind. I got that game, that uh, shooter game. Uh, what's it called? Not Quake. Well, you. Um, oh, never mind. I, I don't remember. Doom. Did you guys know that that Radio Shock sold the first Macintosh? I didn't know that. Mm. That's cool. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. Yep. I remember, uh, I think it was 97 or 98, we used to hook my computer up and take a 50-foot Ethernet cable upstairs to my friend's computer in college and play uh, StarCraft against each other. Oh, we did <laughs> the yeah. an internet connection for us to, you know. <laughs> we started off <laughs> doing that with the stereo port and Command and Conquer. Oh, yeah. 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 Or DOS yeah. mode. Yeah. And, and then we upgraded and we, we, we got the network set up and we were playing StarCraft. Man. There you go. I love the original StarCraft. <laughs> Yeah. Or you just went the entire day making the network go. <laughs> just <laughs> <a joke. laughs> Sounds like you guys had a lot of issues back then with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't easy. You had these coax cables and terminators and stuff. It was not it was yeah. unbelievable. We like, had a separate the phone line in our house so for the computer that used the internet because it would be so irritating you're like trying to do something on the internet and somebody picks up the phone in the kitchen to make a phone call you're like in the middle of doing something you hear them talking through the speakers like hello hello mm -hmm. <laughs> right. i think the hardest thing we had as a kid when we played video games was like on the playstation one like you know when you turn it on and it did that whole screen thing where the game's not going to play you gotta take it out and you're like you know, all over the disc. <laughs> I'm like, talking oh, about Nintendo God. now, blowing in the cartridge. Yeah. Like, blow a 40 mile an hour wind in the cartridge, get the Q tips. <laughs> do you guys, slap it just right. Do you guys remember the next telephones? I remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, I, they, I, they, I always wanted those little walkie talkie phones you could use. I always wanted one. I never had one. Did you guys have one? They were the highest radiation generating phones you could buy. Ooh, uh, my cool. father had one. Yeah, I bought one right towards the end, and then nobody else had one that I could actually use the walkie-talkie feature with. <laughs> Tom, did you do you know about those phones? Little walkie-talkie, they were well, self. I know, I know about them, but they didn't go to Europe or whatever. They didn't have that. The provider simply didn't open the the, the channels. So no options. What about your first carrier you were on? I was with what now is known as AT and T, but it was singular back then. Mine was um, mine was Verizon, but it was called uh, Bell. Bell, Bell. Atlantic, I think it was called. <clears throat> what about what about you, Samurai? What was your first cell phone carrier? First cell phone carrier was U.S. Cellular, <clears throat> and then we went to AT and T for a while, and now I'm on Straight Talk. Straight Talk. Mm -hmm. What about you, uh, Tom? We only had one then, so it's going to be KPN. That's as well now, so it's just a Dutch, the only Dutch national uh, provider at that Wait, time. You, you guys still only have one carrier? No, 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 no. It was back then. So now we have, then we got that Vodafone, and T-Mobile's in now. So we got like five or six now. Yeah. How much is it? How much do you pay? Do you have, do you have like a family plan or is it just you? Uh, I, my phone is totally being paid by my uh, employer. Uh, so, I, so I've got limited data. Limited do you know how much it would, how much would it cost for the plan that you're on, just for you? Um, uh, well, 
well, without a uh, new phone and plan and everything, uh, I would say it's going to be 30 to 45 euros a month, something like that. Yeah. That's cheap. Yeah. Well, they got some lower, yeah. low introductory plans now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's all four, it's all it's all four G and everything. So, and if you if they switch on the five G, it's all incorporate. So, is it unlimited um, data, unlimited talk and text? Yeah. It's okay. on the, that's the only plan. Yep. It, it, if you hit a certain threshold, do they slow you down? No. Nope. See, it, that's better. That's so better. You have the plan just full, full blown, go nuts on it. Uh, if you have a limited plan though, let's say twenty gigs a month. Uh, then they will slow it down, but they probably will. So you can send a text that they that you can continue for a bunch of gigs. Just get them. Yeah, I, I think that's funny. He calls the twenty gigabyte plan the limited plan. When like our, <laughs> our when our <laughs> unlimited plans yeah. came out a few years yeah. ago, twenty gigabytes was where they throttled you. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I usually use. Just the traveling to work on day day to day basis. Yeah, I'm at seventy six gigs used, and I still have like eight days left on my cycle. I don't even know what I'm. I'm gonna look at that right now. I don't well, I've been at home the whole time, so I'm on Wi-Fi, so it's yeah, kind of unrealistic for I'm me. I'm about to cool a lot, so I don't, I don't, well, use that, I don't use that much data. No, nowhere near that. No. Well, hey guys, <laughs> I gotta go ahead and split off here. I didn't plan on being this long, but it's 1:40 in the morning here, and I gotta make some of my kids go to sleep too. Let me get a, let me get a bro hug. How does that work? <laughs> you no, know, like we right, yeah, bring, bring it in. Yeah. Social distancing. All right, there you go. <laughs> Later, brother. All right, guys, it's been great. Y'all have fun. And hey, I'll, I'll, I'll let me remove you. Let me feel like an admin once. Go for it. Kick me. <laughs> yeah, that was abrupt. <laughs> I win. I win. <laughs> yes, so Galaxy phones are awesome. I haven't had a tablet yet. I really want to get the S7 oh, tablet. I removed you. Sorry. Oh. I removed you for a second. Oh, that's funny. If I <laughs> If I remove you guys, I can switch you guys around because now you're over. Now he's over here, and you're down. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I actually like to set up. Yeah. I feel more comfortable like this because I feel like you're always um, uh, uh, Odyssey, uh, not Odyssey. Samurai's always below me, and then the poets is always over here. Oh no, wait, over here, where I can't even. Right it's here. like the pretty bunch. What you're trying to do here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my feeling that okay. I use every carrier. When did Netflix discontinue DVDs? Because I remember I had it. Um, well, I was alive, so uh, I think actually, I want to say they, they kept it going for a long time, but many people just weren't using it. So officially, I want to say it was probably like six, five, five, six years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or like late. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, like they cut off. I mean, like when they had the Netflix around. I remember having Netflix first on like. When they did the whole streaming thing, I think it was on my Wii. I think that's the only place we could have it, really. I don't know. Yeah. We had it on our Wii. <clears throat> Maybe, yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't know they did no, cut off the DVDs right then, too. You do it off your, like, your DVD. Some DVD players had some some apps built into it. Yeah. And game, video game consoles definitely did. I don't remember there being... Oh, I had... I think my first streaming box was a Boxy. Did you guys have... Did you ever hear of that? The Boxy? I, I heard of it. I, I didn't need it though. I had that. Oh, you could do it. No, you couldn't do it. Could you do it from your computer back then when they first started? Yes. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, through the browser. Oh, you had to use Windows. You had to use Internet Explorer though, or something. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I think you had to use their Silverlight plugin. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Or something weird. My first cell phone was the Motorola Brick Flip with a plastic antenna. You had to pull it out. That sounds awful. Uh, I had their own computer, and the Macintosh ended that. Oh wait, yeah, it was the uh, what was the name of that one? Do you guys remember? The Radio Shack computer. I can picture it actually. Damn, what is With the, the name? black? It was like the black um, layout desktop. I'm not gonna remember the name of it though. No, TRS eighty. Now had a more of a more. I thought Are it Radio had... Shack still open? No, it went out of business. Okay. <clears throat> Man, you really took me for a ride for the key. Sarah, I remember I had one. I hated it so much. Not only the phone, but the name. I know. <laughs> I think they still, you get, they're still a company actually i think yeah. they make a lot of the internal stuff though yeah they did some printer stuff as well right that's what i remember they make what printers yeah they make a lot of printers i've Here's never seen yeah lots of printers <clears throat> uh, <laughs> from because of the texture from, yeah. <laughs> super true mm-hmm First carry was singular. Me, my mom had singular. My dad had Verizon. 
Netflix had 2.7 million DVD subscribers as of November. Wow, they still do DVDs? Oh, they still do it. Oh. What? Because well, I remember getting the email saying that with the plan I was on, I could no longer get DVDs. And then um, something about they were just ending it in my area. Like I couldn't get DVDs if I wanted to anymore. Tom, did you were you able to get the, the, the DVDs through Netflix? Or you guys Netflix came over a couple of years ago, yeah, so uh, and they never did the DVDs in New York. No. Did you guys ever have any service like that where you could get mail order DVDs to rent? Uh, to rent, no. I remember hacking into my DVD uh, player to make sure I could buy the American DVDs. So uh, so I got the region codes one going. So I got Blade One. <laughs> Before the cinemas here, so that was cool. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Uh, well, that's a lot of data right there. Michael Pepper Tech Top. RS80 microcomputer by Tandy. That's what I want to say. You guys still have Redbox around you, and also, did you guys have Verizon when they truly? So, yes, I had Verizon when they were truly unlimited, and I believe we still have red boxes around here. I, I, I want to say, yeah. Do you guys still see red boxes around where you live? Yeah, we have quite a bit of red boxes. Is that not a thing places now? <clears throat> do you know Tom, do you know what red box is? It's these little kiosks that ha you can walk up to and you can rent a, di a DVD from and you walk away. You put your credit card in. It's like a vending machine of DVDs. Yeah. Uh, it's like the old uh, video rental. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we have that, but they're all closed down now. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> nice. Oh, here we go. PS5 or Xbox. We've answered this before. I'm gonna get the PS5. I think Xbox. you're getting Xbox. Are you gonna get either one of those, us, um, Tom? Yeah, PS5. I promised my son. So my wife hates me for it, but <laughs> <laughs> who cares? <laughs> and uh, you're getting PS5 to break it down and play with the internal thermals, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I decided I'm gonna wait to see where people complain about. Like, if somebody says, like, hey, my Xbox is overheating a lot, then I'll probably just get the Xbox just to put liquid metal on it and do a review. I don't, like the, size. I don't like the size of the, uh, of the PS5. You don't like the PS5? The, well, it's 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 down. You can flip it? I yeah. just thought only okay. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. yeah, blue and white's not my color <laughs> anymore. Tandy, that's the name. Tandy, Tandy. Mm -hmm. For the for a Radio Shack computer. Do you guys remember when HTC was the king of Androids? Honestly, that was my favorite device, but then Samsung came and conquered them. Mm -hmm. I only had uh, HTC, it was like a seven or eight phone. I think that's one of the only ones I ever had. I did like them for a while, though. I always wanted one, but I never got one earlier on. Did you guys ever have HTC phones? The HTC was, mother of, was the mother company of QTech, wasn't it? I thought that was the way it was set up in uh, back in the day. So if you had QTech phones, you already had the HTC anyway. Did you so, say QTech? Um, yeah. I, they, I, I, don't think, I don't remember that being here. Did you that depose? No. No, it didn't. Okay. But yeah. uh, I had the HTC HV2. Like I said before, I installed Windows, everything on there. You could install Windows 98, 98, 95 on it. So it was one of the best stuff out there. Nice. I want to say I had an HTC phone that was maybe a, a Nexus. It was like one of the Galaxy Nexus phones by H HTC. I think you're right. With a swappable battery. I think I had like five or six yeah. batteries because my battery would last like two hours. That's actually a good question. Would you guys, would you guys want uh, the, the ability to say get a Samsung phone or a or uh, um, an LG phone, and because they used to be able, they used to do this, but it would run vanilla Android. Would you guys like that or no? You don't want that at all? No, no. definitely not. Mm -hmm. I, I use too much of the Samsung features as like yeah. in the, my business world that I really appreciate. So every now and then I go back to kind of a stock Android skin just to kind of feel it out and have fun, but I then miss all the Samsung One UI stuff. What if Apple opened up their software to be able to be installed on an android phone would you want to do that or you would you wouldn't be interested <clears throat> I'm I to play with it, maybe, but do you, th you think you'd take advantage of it and like keep it I, I played with it i don't know if i'd keep it yeah because like with my workflow having android and pc everything just kind of works seamlessly together like i have no issues but um apple just kind of they have their own closed ecosystem so with me being a pc guy it, that would just end up being a headache somehow, some way. Yeah. So what would you so, guys want to change about iOS 14? Like widgets are cool and all that, picture and picture, that's cool and stuff. But 
Like, what do you think that's missing from it that Apple should add to make it more available? I don't, I don't think their app launcher or whatever you want to call app library thing is that cool. It just it's just like it's glorified. They already made folders for you. That's all it really that's is. All it is. It's folders. It's, so it's not that great with they, their implementation of that. I kind of wish they would do something. They would fix this, but now. We're almost guaranteed to be stuck with this for 10 years or so. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. But other, I, I always complain about their notifications. I don't like their notifications system. I wish it was more like Android a little. It's it's fairly close to Android, but I just wish it was exactly like Android. See, I like uh, a nice clean setup. So this is my Note 10 Plus. So just a couple of apps, <laughs> and then some of these are folders. So just nice and clean. And then, you know, some widgets there. Yeah. So That's the way I have it. I just like have widgets on the front, swipe up for my apps. Yep, exactly. It's the way it should be. <laughs> I have mine. Yep. Mine's messy. It's not messy, but I have all mine in folders and then my all, but all the apps I usually use. Yeah. I, I just, I don't understand why the Apple folders are just so big like that. It, it just doesn't look right to me. Yeah, they're huge. They're, they're icons. Mm hmm. Um, where was I? HTC One, I believe it was Great Western Play Edition. Yeah, Play Edition. Yep. Do you think the Windows Mobile was better than iOS? And also, which one is more? Yes. Simple? <laughs> I never <laughs> used Windows Mobile personally. Tell me, what do you, did you like? One Windows Mobile? I was I was the guy at the at the birthday party holding up my Windows phone, saying it would be the best of the best, and Apple sucks and everything. Uh, so. <laughs> I uh, I rocked that thing from the first. So that's when the like I said, the HTC HD two was the same as the HD seven in hardware. So you could install Windows Phone on it, and so uh, I started installing. Well, I got the uh, Windows uh, previous before it went Windows Mo Windows Mobile. I got all the ROMs from XDA and everything. So I rocked that for. Is there I, anything you didn't I, like about that Windows Phone? I did. Is there anything like you didn't like about it? Yeah. yeah, well, that was going to be the app development, right? That's going to be the, the – that's the only part that didn't look go. But for the rest, I loved it. It had a little edge. It had something different, and that's always good. You know, my favorite Windows phone was the uh, Hitachi G1000. It was an amazingly large phone. Um, but it so had cool. a Yeah, but it had a nice big screen, had a physical keyboard to it, and, like, the whole Windows UI on it. It was wonderful. Um and then I think it was also a Motorola phone that had like the slide out keyboard with yep. also a stylus. Those were amazing. I had like three or four different versions of those. I uh, like Windows Mobile. I have one phone. I'll show you. So I think Latrell's going to jump on and show us the Lumina 950X. Yeah, Lumia. Yeah. 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 I, I have that one in the drawer right here. So, so, yes. Yeah. yeah. The Lumina 950XL was really nice. I had high hopes for it, but it never took off. It was the last one, wasn't it? It was the last match. Yeah, that was the one that was supposed to be like the game changer. And then um, they had a couple of different issues as to why it didn't succeed. But um, one, it didn't come to my carrier. <laughs> That's why I didn't <laughs> buy it. So, You guys want those removable batteries back though? Or not? Nah. What did you say? The removable batteries. Do you want that back? No. Yeah, no. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it back. I would, would like them. They I, the I liked it on the Samsung phone. I'd pop the back off, smack it in there, have it be fresh 100% without having to do anything. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. I think the battery life is just so good already. I mean, they can improve on it a little bit, but I think it's good enough. I'm using my phone heavy, and it lasts me all day. Yeah. Plus like, it's 11.3, and that's at, like, what? Oh, shoot, like 5%, but it lasts a little bit. <laughs> but they charge so fast now. I only get like five or six hours of screen on time on my phones. That's like that's really good for me. I never get anything more than that. Hmm. Hmm. So I have a habit of. How long do you do with one phone? Are you going to switch within a year to a new one or not? Me? No, no, just in general. I always switch my phone, so I'll, I switch out like every six months. But the only reason I want to have removable batteries is like uh, if you have it for more than a year, it probably will. Stop working that good. Uh, so I yeah, think that's where the yeah. removal batteries came from. Yeah. Gets worse. I wonder why that didn't make his noise. It's supposed to make a noise when you join Latrell. It didn't. Oh, really? Yeah, it's supposed to go bling. So I look at there it. Go. I know um, you were saying, what was that? Google Meet or whatever was doing that? Yeah. 
What's going on, Latrell? So, before, so Latrell's got a, a YouTube channel. Um, you can. It, it's called the. Uh, you can't see it though, huh? AKK. What? It's cut off no. there. You, what's your? You could just type in my name. That's oh. the um, the branding of my channel. is Centec. But if you type in Latrell James, that's what's going to show. Okay, so if you want to follow any of these guys on the on the on the on YouTube, except for. Tom, you don't have a channel, or you might soon, right? Tom, is that what's going on? Yeah, I'm thinking of getting on going. Yeah. Okay. So Tom's going to start a channel eventually. But for now, you can check out Tech Samurai, The Poets, Latrell. Just Google their names and uh, you'll be able to sign up. You can also find them on all those social media platforms as well. Have it be TikTok or, well, some of the guys on TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you, guys, if you guys post out a Twitter message on the live chat that we did last time, add, add, ask Tom as well, please. <laughs> Didn't that mean? What the hell was that about? <laughs> I know. I, what, what, wait, I have to find. What was your? What's your thing again? It's the same thing on this one. Just at ask Tom. So every, everybody thinks I'm this Oracle guy, which I was in the past, though, but, I, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> but uh, I added it. So at ask Tom. So that's it. Uh, I know. I was. You know. I was going to add you honestly, and I had you in there, and like it. What? I, it didn't come up, and some other ask Tom came up. It was like some old guy, and I was like, "This I, yeah. I, maybe he doesn't." I couldn't remember. Sorry about that. That doesn't matter. I posted it beneath it anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> also with your post, the poets, by the way. So, never mind. <laughs> so, uh, Latrell, let's see your 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 window. Are you still booting it up? Oh, yeah. No, it's on right now. Um, I think it's asking me yeah. something about Windows Hello, but um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got a lot of apps on here. You can see, I got Instagram. I can talk to it, Spotify. Spotify yeah, still man. works too. Yes. That looks so crowded. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even 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 it's UI. How was it? It still how was, works. How wasn't that confusing? Like I know I see it. It looks very like like it catches your eye, but like it looks so confusing. The um the the opera the, the UI. Is it not confusing? Not really, no. I mean I'm the one that set up this way, but it's not confusing for me, I guess, because I'm just used to it. It's not well, confusing to me. I know where it makes sense. I wonder huh? if they have a Windows launcher. Yeah, oh, there's they a, do have an Android. Yeah, there's an Android launcher that you can mimic that. Yeah. Exactly. I used to use yeah. it for like a week or two at a time. And I mean, I was I saying, I it out. <laughs> as well. yeah. yeah, and I was saying before, like, I think the iOS widgets, everybody's saying they copy Android. But I think they're more copy windows and android because it works a lot more like windows and android yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. not live tiles or anything it's <clears throat> probably my favorite feature but it, yeah, yeah the light tiles are nice that's cool and then you also have the regular apps on the side like the oh, app gallery so it's easy then, just yeah. swipe over there and when you imported your contact on the windows phone it's already linked up all the social media stuff and everything was put into the contact right away. And that was different mm -hmm. than Android and iOS. And you had to add them manually all the time. So everybody was complaining about that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you guys think the Pixel 4a or the 5 will help Google to compete with Samsung? I don't think that it's going to compete with Samsung at all. I don't think – if I had to guess, I don't think most people are going to buy the phone. I think it will be a, a very a, – a million, a million or two million people might buy it at the Niche. most – that many beyond that is—is yeah. is the Pixel a big phone in uh, Netherlands? You live in Netherlands, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the Pixel is here, but not that much. No. Yeah. I really have to find someone who is a Pixel. Yeah. Latrell, you used—I forget. Yeah. Are you still in high school, Latrell? No, I graduated. Oh, you graduated. Okay. So yeah. I guess you, you're, you're still fairly young, though, right? You're I mm -hmm. 19, or whatever. So yeah. when, when you were in high school, did people ever have? Did you ever see Pixel phones back then, or not really? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a couple of Pixel phones. Now, it was pretty rare. All you see is iPhones and Galaxies, but and yeah. sometimes you see them like, you know, them dollar store LG phones, but <laughs> 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 with, the, with the track phone plan, but no. No, I, I mean, so I saw like a Pixel 3, I think, wait, what's, oh yeah, Pixel 4 is out right now. Maybe like a Pixel 2 or 3, my brother and his girlfriend have pixels. They had a galaxy, but they didn't like it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think, I mean, you got to think about it. Samsung's the biggest phone manufacturer in the world right now. Like, they got a lot to go up against. So, I mean, to compete with Samsung, 
that's that's a lot. That's a lot of work. That is. That's a lot. That's mm-hmm. picture, right? Google is like selling a tenth of the amount of phones looking at Samsung, right? It's not that a lot. Yeah. Wait, what did you ask? Sorry, we were talking to me or him. Oh, 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 the 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 pixel the amount the amount of phones that Google is selling is like a tenth or a fifth. Oh yeah. It's so oh no, yeah, tiny. yeah. It's tiny. It's nothing. They, yeah. I don't think they've been. Making pixel phones that long though. I know they had the, the Nexus, it's like this Nexus 6 feet, but yeah, yeah. they're not that far anymore. My dad had a phone with a stylus that had a module function. It was a pre palm palette. You could use it as a scanner, had a modem, attachment cameras. <laughs> I remember that. I think we sold that at uh, Circuit City when I worked at Circuit City in uh, 2000, and 2000, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Circuit City. Yeah. I was too young. Still again, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I, I me, so me, me and the poets, because Tom, you didn't grow up in America. In America, but we had like a full life. Actually, whatever, I'll include you, Tom. We had full lives before you were even born. <laughs> you, tell me you, were, you were just like a little, a little, little guy. You were no, God. What you? What year were you born, Latrell? Two thousand and one. I know we never really had a Circuit City around here, though. We don't really got a lot of places around here. See, at least I'm still in the 1900s. I'm 1999. <laughs> One. Yeah. Oh my God. It's Not crazy. even the 1990s. So wait, um, here's a. Are you thinking of going to college? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about it. It's still, still, still. Oh yeah, Eddie. Yeah, I use my phone at work. It's McDonald's. Mm. They don't care. <laughs> uh, what, what would be your major? Um, I think more in like in the in the business field. I don't know exactly um, where, but I just know somewhere in the business field because I have the YouTube channel, but I also have a website too, uh, mm-hmm. which is an online business. Obviously, there's no actual like resource or anything out here, but mm-hmm. I mean. I, uh, I'm up there. Like oh, check, out my, check out my alma mater, Lincoln University. Lincoln uh, University, just south of Philadelphia. That's where wait, I where do I find Lincoln University. It's just south oh, of Philadelphia. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Lincoln University of Pennsylvania. That's where I went. I studied economics there, and they have a, a decent computer program there and, and marketing program. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking down at Google right now. And it's the first HBCU as well. So lots of history. Nice. What do you guys think is the most simple interface for a phone? I, I, I don't, when I look, I never use Windows Mobile. But when I look at it, I look at it. It doesn't seem simple to me. I would say the iPhone. Oh, yeah, original, yeah. original iPhone, original iPhone. Yeah. I mean, Windows is still pretty simple too, though. I mean, I, I mean, with the, with the laptops I've set up, no, it doesn't look very yeah, simple. Yeah, like but. think about this. Like, is your if your mom or dad looks at it, that they're gonna be like, what the. F- <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like I remember my dad's mess of it, right? Um, he bought it on, he bought it on Amazon. It was a T-Mobile one, but it was a blacklist. Yeah. That's besides the point. I remember it came out with an update, and it was an update where it didn't it got rid of the app button. You just had to swipe up to get to the apps, and he was all confused. Like, Latrell, what do I do? Where's my app at? How do I get here? So I had to put the apps button back on his home screen. <laughs> he was all frustrated and everything. He's like, this is why I don't like updating my phone. <laughs> no, he's update something. I have to do the same thing with my dad's phone. He has the, the, the S, S10 Plus. I have to put the apps button on the bottom right for uh-huh. his phone. <laughs> yeah, and you know, he got that, that big, big outer box case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use the book oh, anymore. Man. You do. Uh, <laughs> and then right. no, here's the front most frustrating part. So he has a, a glass screen protector, but then he also has the outer box screen protector that comes with the case. So it's like <laughs> the, the screen, and like just gets a notification. You got to press all hard. You're like, yeah, go to the home screen and turn on the thing where you like start uh. anywhere on the screen to get to the notifications. <laughs> yeah, everybody just hates it. Like just, just, just take off one of the screen protectors. <laughs> Do you guys- but besides, besides your dad, does do any of you guys use screen protectors? Nope. I do now <laughs> since I have kids. Oh, what do you? What one do you use? I just get a glass one or whatever. First, I buy the um, 
like the liquid glass stuff because if your screen does crack, they help pay for it and stuff too. So that's nice. And I put just a glass cover over that. I just get a glass cover off of Amazon or whatever. Okay. Works just fine. That's cool. My son gets a hold of my phone too much. <laughs> you guys think Google, Google phones are uh, overpriced? What about Tom or, or uh, Samurai? Do you guys think those are overpriced? I yeah. think they have a good camera system and stuff, but I don't know. I think they are because they're like outdated, kind of, not outdated, but like they don't put as much cameras on as laid phones now. Yeah. I don't I think they need to. Go ahead. They need to compete more with the uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy A uh, lineup in price wise. So yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they need to get the price down. Like they, they need yeah. to not even worry about being a $1,000 phone. They have to get down to like. Three ninety nine, like they already are, but who will see what happens with that? I don't, I don't think they're even going to get with that with the five. It's probably yeah. still gonna be a seven hundred dollar phone or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I remember they sent me a three XL, and I think it was a good price point. Now, obviously, I ain't pay for it, but I still think <laughs> I still think it was I still yeah. think it was a good price point for what I got because it was a really nice phone, and that's what they should really be focusing on is these. Um, I guess you call it like a mid-range phone. It's just like I said, it it is a reason why it sold a decent amount of phones. Like I know my aunt has a Pixel 3 XL and she loves her phone. She had a a Galaxy, probably like a J phone or something like that. You know those really bad Galaxy J phones. Yeah. That nobody really liked. Mm -hmm. Um have you guys heard about this? Samsung and AMD are going to start doing working together on, I guess, mobile chips. I don't know if this. It's I guess it. It's kind of an older story. I'm looking right now. I I heard about it just today. I didn't really look into it though. But I guess Samsung's first mobile chipset with AMD graphics could launch in 2021. Um, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll leave that for the poets because you're a, you're a PC guy. It's not. I don't think it's going to be for PC. But you're. No. AMD, yeah. I, you're, I, you're I heard about this a few months ago. Um, but it wasn't anything like anybody could get excited about right now because it was more just, if I remember correctly, it was like a, a partnership intent at that point, but nobody really knew exactly like what the true specifications or benefit of this was going to be. And I haven't heard anything that made me like turn my head yet. So cool. Well, you had the deep bench, uh, <clears throat> right? It was really high up there and people assumed that it was the combination already for the S21 upcoming year. So We'll see how that goes. It's all, it was really promising. We'll see. Uh, it's not going to be called the Galaxy Bud X's. It's the Galaxy Bud Lives, if I remember correctly. And uh, I would. The, the rumors are it could come out in uh, July or August. We'll see, wait and see if it ends up happening. Um, and the price should be one forty nine, and which would be the Galaxy Bud Pluses would drop in price. You would think. Um, wow, so. we've been quarantined so long. I thought it was July. <laughs> I know it's June. Wow. <laughs> That's terrible. Circuit City was the best back then. Do you agree with that, De Poets? Oh man. We would when we had our downtimes, we'd be playing EverQuest on the PCs. Oh yeah. <laughs> what was the game that was after EverQuest? Wasn't there a game that was similar to EverQuest that Sony released right after that? But it was a little bit it wasn't as in depth, if I remember. I can't remember. Hmm. I don't know. I played. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting. They had a PS4, a PS2 version of it that was a little more simplified. I think. Wow, I can't imagine playing ever anything like EverQuest on a console, because it was yeah. just like so complex and in depth. I played um, it on the PS2 because I didn't have a strong. I didn't have a a, a more po a powerful enough computer to do it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> At the yeah. time. Yeah, Circuit City was the bomb. And then eventually my Circuit City in Buffalo, New York became a LA Fitness. So that was a little weird walking back into the place where I worked just to go work out now. <laughs> Latrell. Yeah. Where's your Domino's pizza? You got it any tonight? Uh, you know, I was thinking about ordering some tonight. Like I was seriously thinking about it. I was like, <laughs> I had too much Domino's recently. I don't, I don't want no more. I want you some door cash, but it's too late for anything. I thought about it because you took your headphone off. I'm like, I wonder if it's like uh, – I wonder if he's going to get he's waiting for his to go around. <laughs> no, I was trying to see if my if my air is still circulating because it's starting to be down here in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite note phone? Mine was the white note. What does that mean? Wait, wait, wait. 
What's that? What's the white note T? Damn, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Oh, my God. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I bought it before we got home, home, dude. I realized you were going to buy it. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Where? Yeah, where, Latrell asked a really good question. Where is that? Like, we know it's from McDonald's, but where did it come from right now? Oh, my Tesla. <laughs> what do you mean? You t- oh, it was sitting in your car? Yeah, I got home, like, right before you went on live. So, Dude, why <laughs> and didn't then you- when you started talking about food, I was like, oh, shoot. I don't for eating here, but <laughs> did you get chicken nuggets? Yeah. Wow, you really threw me off with that McDonald's, man. You really threw me off. <laughs> Late expect- night munchies there. It's two in the morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's fun. Okay, let's back to this question. I, I don't know if they – do you guys know what the white note T is? I think the typo. It's going to be a typo, right? I just hear a white note, and I think of a note four. I don't know why. Yeah, Maybe. I think you're right. With, yeah. with the Band-Aid look. Was that, is that the one that had the Band-Aid look? Was that, the, that was the S phone. Yeah, that was no, that was the S five. S five, yeah. yeah. What was yeah. the oh, whatever? What um favorite note? Note ten plus. Note 10. <laughs> well, I'm looking at my keyboard right now. The T is closer to the number five, so maybe he tried to put no five. I don't oh, know. Okay. But the, the yeah. no five wasn't white though, if I remember right. Yeah. No, they had a white color. They, they had, had a white. Color. Color. I, I had the white one. Yeah. It didn't the, the five didn't have a no? SD I had the three. Card, right? The note three was white. Had 32 gigs of storage and no SD card, if I remember. Mm-hmm. Yep, still got my Note 5 in black. Which was the one with the leather back? It had like that leather back to it? The Note 3. Yeah. yeah. The Note 3. It's a I my think drawer. My dad had that one. I, I love the leather back, though. I think yeah. that should come back. It was, what, it was what comfortable. What and phone did your dad have now, Samurai? What? What, di- what phone does your dad have now? Oh, fun. Uh, he. He actually just got the iPhone 11, and we bought him the iPhone 11. He had the iPhone before that was like, the, I think, 7 Plus or whatever. But when he switched to 11, he broke it intentionally because he got so mad that it has to swipe up instead of the home button. He got so mad. He threw that crap and broke it, and he went back to the 7. <laughs> Does your dad wow. have a temper? Because like you don't seem like you seem like out of all the guys here, you probably well not all the guys here, but you seem like you don't have a temper at all. So I don't. We're you don't get if he has the temper, you're not getting it from him. Or what, no, I'm adopted, so oh, okay, okay, I don't get nothing from them. Thank God. But. <laughs> wow, my dad's probably the same as your dad. To be honest with you, man. What's that? <laughs> my dad's probably the same as his dad. He gets frustrated over anything. It seems. Like. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Okay, well, that was old, old, so yeah, dad. he is sixty something. Sixty, like I think sixty-five. Okay, I'm, yeah. Like my older siblings are like third. Man, my older sibling just hit forty. Okay. Oh, you, well, I mean, because you're so young. Yeah, my see, yeah. my dad is my dad is seventy-two, <clears throat> but I'm older. I'm a lot older than you, but still, mm-hmm. yeah. Tom, say it. I can see you thinking. I think how old my dad is now. So I was like, he's born in 49. So it's going to yeah, be years younger. My dad was born in 47. Okay. Yeah. Feels good to be the green bubble guy. <laughs> green bubble. Remember, guy. You remember when Samsung did that advertising for like the green bubbles and everything? I like that how the. Cool. I don't I'm, remember exactly how it went down. The only but. thing I remember is when they had the notch haircut one where they were making fun of the. Yeah. The mm-hmm. notch. I remember the dongle that. thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody was on them for that, including me. Yep. Uh, Google needs to price down and add an SD card, and their highest display brightness needs to go. For me, I don't care. Do you guys? I don't. Quick, yes or no? Do you guys like the SD card? I never use it anymore. I don't care about it. Do you guys care about it? Um, I used to, but now there's so much storage inside of these phones. Mm-hmm. I, I don't care. Yeah, like I have I two fifty six on mine. Base model and it's perfect. Yeah, and this thing. you put the SD card in there, it probably slows it down if you put a lot of stuff on it. So everything yeah. goes. Mm-hmm. What about you, Latrell? SD card? Do you do you care about it or no? The yeah. only time I care about SD card is on my Nintendo Switch, which I never use. This comes five hundred twelve gig standard, so no, I, I never really. It, it don't even accept the SD card to begin with. So yeah, no. only yeah. if it doesn't have a lot of space, then. 
the one thing about that, baby. the one thing I have to agree with Eddie on is the the brightness on the Google phones is awful. I mean, once if you turn it up to one hundred percent, it's decent, but I shouldn't have to turn it up to one hundred percent to be able to see it. Like I I. I, I'm older, so like the older you get, you want things brighter. You want to, your eyes just get worse. It, there's nothing you can do about it. So it's like, <clears throat> man, the, it's so dark. I hate dark screens. Oh yeah, that's how my dad is. Screen brightness 100. percent He got burned <laughs> on his phone now because of it, and he just had his met screen timeout like 10 minutes. Never turns off his screen. So yeah, I keep telling him, keep reminding him. That's why your phone looks so bad. The same thing when he had his S5. It was just <laughs> terrible. I think Samsung too. should make like a deal with Apple just to like, I don't know, make their screens cheaper if they allow Samsung to have iMessage on Samsung. <laughs> that would make a huge difference for people. <laughs> I still don't understand the allure of, of iMessage because I see it as just a regular old just text messaging. I, I actually just, I don't think it's that amazing. Like, <clears throat> I, I, like I have iMessage on my iPad and yeah, I can text people there but then but you can't text somebody that doesn't have a it, you, you can only text them if they have an iphone except yeah. for an ipad that's my that's my point like why reduce yourself to iMessage when you could just text somebody like i, I don't really if you need it. that functionality there's like 300 other apps that you photo thing that bugs me, sending videos and photos it just bugs uh, me. See, I, I use whatsapp for that then yeah, yeah. but you also don't really need the uh, data sync with uh, between samsung uh, accounts right you have the the unlimited uh what's it called you can just do the Samsung sharing service. You can put the full blown video in there without the. Which app? Well, you got the Samsung. Uh, you got the Samsung uh, file sharing service, or you got the oh, yeah. sharing. link sharing. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I just use when I want to send someone a big file or, or photo or video, I should say, I just use Google Photos. It's already uploaded there. I just send them a link. They click on it. They could add it to their libraries really quick. That's what I do. So what do you think? Oh, that's smart. There you go. Yeah, that's what my whole family does. That. Yeah, we share all kinds of videos and photos. Everybody's across the country. We just use Google Photos. That's but interesting. Does it, we use does it Samsung like Galaxy. Quality, Isn't the quality of the photo then? No, it is the same quality. So, yeah. so Google Photos, unless you pay for it, it maxes out at 1080p video, and then the photos are at 16 megapixels. So. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Yeah. You can an AK video though. You can put that uh, if you share that via the uh, Samsung link. It will still remain the same though, and everybody can download it. So you got the AK video stream uh, uh, mm. shared on both platforms. I use a uh, one uh, one drive as well to share photos and videos too. So it all depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah, yep. I know. I know. For me, we'll use link sharing, but then also. I know we have like this shared album and everything here for like family photos and everything at Samsung Gallery. So since we all have galaxies, we just decided we just <clears throat> add add to our shared albums and everything from our photo books and everything. That's cool. Very nice. Most complete. Most uh, sure. next. Whipping out his uh, fold if you can, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, any news of the next AirPods from Apple? Uh, I've heard they. I'm trying to. I, I know I heard something about them. Um, what did I hear about them? Smaller stem. Uh, I can't remember what else I heard about them. Do you guys remember anything you've heard about the next AirPods? No, I don't really care about AirPods, honestly. No. All you care about is those damn chicken nuggets, you bastard. We could all be <laughs> a coupon code. Plus the Galaxy yeah. Buds Plus just sounds so much better. Oh, yeah. I got the same color as you, too. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Those ones I, I want the red. Yeah. Red is kind of nice. A little flashy yeah. for me. This is yeah. nice and subtle. You know? <laughs> I can just like put this in my pocket, you know. It's too flashy. See, I got the red ones because it came free with my Galaxy Book. This, like, as you can see. Right here, if when you was pre-ordering this, no, it wasn't pre-order. You just buy this, and it came with free Galaxy Buds Plus and a, a pouch. For the pouch is like eighty bucks. Yeah, I'm like, why? It's just a little basic pouch. It doesn't even have a magnet to <laughs> close the pouch. Latrell, what's that but, sticker on there? Oh, it's my Jennings approved, Jennings stamp of approval thing. Oh. Kind of what I have going on. Nice. Like if I if I'm reviewing a product and I like it. Then this Jenny's approved. Mm -hmm. Put that stick in. Yeah. I did a 40-minute uh, long deep dive into the Galaxy Book S on my YouTube channel. 
and uh, it still gets a ton of hits. But I like seriously went three days of shooting to show like how long the battery lasts in my real world usage. Like I took it to my cigar lounge, I took it to work, I took it to you know cafe shops and everything, and you know uh, so I still get some good hits on that video. The poet, what's your, what's your uh, sorry? Uh, look, go ahead, Latrell, because I'm gonna I'm actually gonna ask him a different question. So I ain't mean to cut nobody off, but I was just saying, wow, really? Because I was looking for a podcast review, so I'm going to look yours up if yeah. I haven't seen it already. Mm -hmm. Thanks for telling us that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, what's, a, what's a good uh, cigar for a new a newbie to start off with? Uh, the one that tastes good and uh, it isn't overly expensive. Uh, all right. Everybody's not overly expensive is different. What's not overly expensive? Uh, I don't know. What's a, what's a, what's a, What's, I don't even know what a cigar costs. I don't smoke. So right. um, I, I, I always point people to the Oliva V, all right, um, mainly because it, it's around 12 to $14, depending on your local taxes and stuff. Per and cigar. A, yeah, per cigar. And it's it's a, it's a nice middle ground. So it's, it's good quality. Every time you, you smoke one, you're going to get the same exact quality, which is why people like a certain type of cigar. You know, there's not going to be much deviation. And um, and it's kind of middle of the road. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. And it has a lot of flavor. So that will kind of lead you into what you actually like. Do you like something lighter? Do you like something heavier? Do you like a longer smoke or a shorter smoke? Uh, but the Oliva V is is my main recommendation for somebody just starting out. How long would it take someone to smoke uh, just one of those cigars? Just if you smoked it, I don't know, all night. Or if someone a new a new a newbie wouldn't want to smoke them all. Night. Uh, I have uh, I have all I have actually three humidors right here in front of me, and I have uh, cigars that last a half hour. I have some that last three and a half four hours. So they greatly range. So you'll you'll know when you start smoking them, like okay, this is going to be my two hour cigar because I'm watching a movie, you know, outside, or this is my half hour cigar because I got to hurry up and get on Greggle's TV stream. <laughs> Same, you know, I'm only been. a 30 minute cigar. I'm, that's all I'm worth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to be on the stream on time, you know? Wow. Uh, and they even have those little cigarettes too. So you can buy like little baby cigars that are kind of like cigarettes, but they give, they give you that cigar flavor. Those yeah. are kind of nice too. And those are like 15 minutes. When you, See, when I always you... thought, um, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying, I always thought cigars were just the same thing as cigarettes, but bigger. No. <laughs> wide right it's kind of think of it as like wine so like you could have a three dollar bottle of wine that you love and then you hate a hundred dollar bottle of wine because it's your palate so you have the only way to find out is just by smoking a lot of cigars to find out what you like and don't like it's a bad problem to have i know <laughs> but yeah um like i i miss going to my cigar lounge this whole virus thing is, is annoying but uh so i've had to buy more cigars like online and stuff which are a lot cheaper i will say that um which is why I have three humidors full of cigars now. But um, yeah, you just gotta go out there and try them. So cool. if you never tried any, Oliva V, that's a good starter. And then um, any of the punch cigars, they have a, a wide range of cigars and they've always, always been good quality. And I say punch because you can remember the name, you know, punch. Um, but I've never had a bad punch cigar. Uh, but again, my palate, you know. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Eddie Sanchez says, Wow, Samurai, just <laughs> rub it in our face. Isn't that cold, dude? It is kind of, actually. It's surprisingly, mm -hmm. though, it's not like cold, cold. It's like warmish. <laughs> I was just going to say that. It's kind of be cold. Yeah. I think it would be cold. Room temperature. Yeah. Sure. Am I Sprite's still good, though? <laughs> hey Greg, yeah. I'm thinking about it, man. I got the Domino's app open. Oh. I'm, I'm one away from 60 points. So I, I want to do it. I forget what well, you get. Pepperoni yet. sausage, right? Mm, huh? What do you get? Pepperoni sausage? I forget what you yeah. get. Yeah, yeah. Just that. Two large, two topping. Two. Huh? You, you do the two for five ninety nine, right? Each or something? Yeah, yeah. Two large, two topping pizzas, five ninety nine, or each. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, I see, I'm, tempted. I see, I'm tempted. I see the points on there. I see your points. Oh, yeah, yeah. So no, I use my I points all the time. Hey, I, Tom. I, I go to my points. What's a, what's, a, what's a junk? What's a like uh, in America late night? If you're gonna get something at your house, it's pizza usually. Usually, I mean, if you're in the city, you can get anything you want. But generally, when you're at your house anywhere in America, pizza is like a, a very popular thing to get. In the Netherlands, you're, it's late at night. You want to get something delivered to your house. Do you have that option? And if so, what is it that you would get delivered? Uh, it's going to be shawarma thing. Shawarma. Yeah. Shawarma. 
All right. Yep. So we got these giant rules. They call this a Turkish pizza stuff. And it looks like a whole meal in itself. So it's a bunch of meat with a bunch of vegetables in there. So, and you can switch the amount of ingredients around. So, they'll, yeah. deliver, they'll deliver it to you? Yeah. Well, they deliver about anything <laughs> in COVID-19 time. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they will go back in there. Oh. Oh, Tom, if you is your you don't have to do it in the stream, but is your is your neighborhood on Street View on Google? Yeah, it is. Send me. A, you don't have to send me your exact address, but I'd love to see what it you looks like. You already have that. You already have that, right? Oh yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Damn. Doesn't so matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. But whatever. If I remember, if you yeah. remember, if, I know you sent it, but I've, whatever. Send me a link sometime if you can remember. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go. Phil saying. Uh... Latrell looks like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy's uh, <clears throat> kind of my neighbor. He lives not not too far from me. We go to the same coffee shop. That's awesome. Really? Yeah. I've never it. heard that before, though. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I, have, I don't think he looks like I don't, I don't think you do. That's I don't, new. I don't think yeah. you do either. Do you, do you, do you think his, uh, what was it, Coming to America 2? I wonder if they... I know they... I wonder if they pushed it back because of everything that's going around in the world right now. Like, because uh, <laughs> it's... It pushes the boundaries. You would think it would at least the first one did. So I wonder if they they're doing that with the second one. They're pushing it back for. I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't doubt it if they have to rewrite some of the script right now because the right. political environment is yeah. so crazy right now. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Beverly Hills Cop two? <laughs> I didn't even. Be, be, I love all the Beverly Hills Cop movies. I mean, yeah. So and, do I. And, and plus now because I my office is in Beverly Hills, so okay. like, <laughs> really? like it's 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 weird. Uh, I saw. Was it the first one or the second one not too long ago? I don't remember. But I was like, oh, wait, that I kind of know what that is. But like things have changed since way back <laughs> when those movies were made. But some of the main like monuments are still there, like landmarks. So it's kind of fun. funny. When I was a kid, I always wanted to live in Bel Beverly Hills and stuff. It's honestly, I'm part of the uh, Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce, too. And wonderful people. Like, And we actually, well, before virus, we had like 200 events a year. It was incredible how how active uh, we were, and now it's all Zoom meetings, unfortunately. But um, oh, yeah, yeah it's just wonderful people, very welcoming. Because uh, my office is half a block from Rodeo Drive, Rodeo and Wilshire, <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's very touristy during the day. Um, but well, it used to be. Damn, things have changed. Um, but this beautiful weather every single day, like being able to drive to my office with the top down in January, is is wonderful. And I'm from Buffalo, New York originally, so. Big, big change. You, know. <laughs> you think the fold two? No, no. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> no. 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 With, with how, with how soft the screen is? No. Uh, so, so the answer is no. If you didn't know. If you guys were wondering, Tech Hour Extra is late because I think it's a guy. Yeah, he had class. I know you're wondering that. Oh, Can't wait for Galaxy Tab S7 120 hertz refresh rate display. Yes, and the seven plus. To be honest with you, I never really cared about 120 hertz. Now I had the 2018 iPad Pro, and it was at the time where I had the iPad Pro and this Tab S4 before the Tab S6 came out, and I returned the iPad Pro almost immediately. I just didn't really care for it. And that 120 years, I was like, wow, okay, that's that's pretty cool. So it was like, when I first saw it, I was like, eh, I got used to it after a little bit. And then the S20 Ultra, I used that. I didn't care for it, and I didn't like the trade-off for the battery and everything. So I switched it back to the You know, it's, I it, People treat it as if it was like... LCD versus AMOLED, in my opinion, because like LCD versus AMOLED, I think that's a way bigger difference um, than 60 and 120 hertz. Like, well, I want to say a bigger impact um, on your day to day use yes. in 120 mm -hmm. hertz. Yeah. I think it depends on your usage. Um, like on my computer, like I, 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 go, I scroll through a lot of text, a lot of spreadsheets. So when you're scrolling, having high refresh rate, that's real world usage. You know, I don't, I'm not concerned about gaming or anything like my day to day practice is Excel spreadsheets and financial stuff. So scrolling. Yeah, I like to see that high refresh rate. That's nice. Um, Ice Universe, I think it was that put out a, a tweet asking if you could only have one, would you want 5G on your phone or 120 hertz refresh rate? And I immediately said. 5G because I'm in LA. I'm spoiled with 5G. I love it. Uh, but, 
Yeah, five yeah. G is nice yeah. too. I, I could not go one. back. Yeah, I can't go back to like not having five G. And you know, one twenty hertz is nice and all, but it's not worth it for me on a cell phone to have versus five G. How many places in California has like major five G connection stuff? It's growing. Like I'll be driving in my car and suddenly I'm on millimeter wave five G. You know, so it could be in Hollywood, it could be Venice Beach, uh, uh, some parts of Santa Monica. Um, the uh, kind of downtown area has it sporadic. Uh, definitely like the stadiums, like the Staples Center and stuff has 5G. It is nice when you're in a crowded area, like Venice Beach, thousands of people. I'm on 5G getting like two gigs per second download. It's, it's I'm on, awesome. San Diego has 5G basically everywhere too. It's hard to not be on, at least on AT&T, so. Yeah, that's d different different waves. Yeah, uh, yeah. Band, but yeah, but the yeah, Verizon like implementation is nice for areas like like a convention center, staple center like that, um, beaches where there's tons of people, and it's open area. Like they had 5G at uh, CES 2020. People were struggling to even like send text messages, and I'm video chatting with my little brother, you know, because I was on 5G. <laughs> that, it was wow. so funny because not many people had 5G phones. And I'm literally like standing there surrounded by tons of people, like just video chatting with my brother. And people were like, how is he doing this? <laughs> I'm like, I'm on yeah. 5G. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Get on my I'll love. <laughs> you know? I'll tell you, if there's one thing I really miss about that 20 Ultra, it's the 5G. Now, I don't, I never use millimeter wave 5G. Like, I, I don't think I had a 5G. Well, I have an S10 5G, but I don't think I ever really got to use a millimeter wave 5G, even though I'm like two hours away from Chicago right now. It's mobile 5G, that's a lot more widespread, obviously, but it's also pretty good too. Like, it's like a 30% difference. It's pretty noticeable. Especially because T-Mobile is out here ain't really that good, so right. I mean, uh, that can yeah. be two different di implementations, you know. So yeah. like, if in widespread out areas, the way T-Mobile is doing it is is correct. Um, for condensed locations, the way Verizon is doing it is correct, you know. So uh, just different implementations. Yeah, I like having so, both options though. That's nice. All mm -hmm. the Note phones this year are going to be five G, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I haven't had a 5G phone yet, so I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work where I am. I'm pretty in a remote area, so, but it comes with the phone. It comes with the phone. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. I'm sorry to cut you off. My bad. Well, the fold one, just... the, renewed, the renewed fold one, is it going to be 5G or not? The What's fold that? two? The, as in the fold one renewed version, as in with the uh, horizontal or vertical uh, front screen, is it going to be 5G? Oh, oh, the fold light. Um, and fold light. Oh. I don't. I'd be surprised if they don't add. It. I mean, I don't know. I guess it'd be it, weird if they didn't add it. I know it's kind of weird. Yeah. Especially since it switched this whole every phone five G. Even some of their mid range phones have five G though, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. doubt they wouldn't add it to it. I mean, yeah, you don't really get a lot of a choice with a Snapdragon eight sixty five though. All of those are five G. So if that mm -hmm. has the E65, then it's going to have 5G. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night. kind of tired, and I have to finish up uh, doing... Now, my video's already edited, but I want to finish putting in the tags and stuff for tomorrow's video. Okay. Um, and plus, I went live a couple days ago anyway, so... Um, yeah, if we're, if you're gonna, like I said earlier, if you haven't checked out these guys' channels, check it out. Tom doesn't have his yet, but he's on it's Twitter asked at, at ask Tom. So add him on there. Are you, are you anywhere else, Tom, for social media? Uh, well, yeah, it's going to be uh, Instagram, same thing. Um, what is the, what is the, what, why is it ask Tom? Why, why did you choose that? Well, I started like eight years ago. Uh, well, after my uh, Oracle DBA training, <laughs> I found out that the uh, internet domain, hashtag.nl, wasn't claimed yet, and yeah. Twitter and YouTube and everything. So I claimed it, and uh, okay. since then I've been using it, and I can use it for everything, though. Yeah, nice, that's cool. Yeah. I don't see you on Instagram though, Tom. I I mean, I put ask Tom, and then unless it's not Tom is dumb, right? That's somebody else. No, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Well, I see. I see, one, I see one, but it has no pictures, no following, nothing. No, it's going to be the same picture. So, it's, or it's ask Tom and L, something like that. So uh, we'll find it. All right. 
I'll send it to you. And Latrell, are you on TikTok? What happened? Sorry. On TikTok? <laughs> uh, I have a TikTok. I made two of them. I don't know why I did. I was just, I think it was like, I think both times I made a TikTok, it was like two or three in the morning because I was just really bored. Uh, okay. And I don't even care about TikTok. I uninstalled the app. Um, oh, okay. So, oh, I do have a quick question for you, though. What headphones are you wearing right now? Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Taltronics. Taltronics. Um, either the 40s. I think they're called 40s or 60s. It's, it's one of the two. Taltronics 40 or Taltronics 60. Um, they're, they're nice. I actually, they're really comfortable. I take them, I, I keep an office in Buffalo, New York. So I have to fly back and forth sometimes when I used to travel. Um, so these have like a 20 hour battery life and noise cancellation. So crying babies can cry all they want. I don't hear anything. They're Bluetooth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bluetooth. Yeah. But for this, I have it plugged in to, uh, this five fine microphone that I'm using, oh, and, uh, but yeah, they're, they're comfortable, nice, and they're inexpensive. So they're doing the trick. You know, I'm not a big audiophile, you know, that's El Jefe's realm and he'll be like, well, actually he did review these and he liked them. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm i more comfort and if I can hear you talk, we're good. I think I reviewed those too. They, Tautronics makes them, a, a, I, they have a few good headphones. Though. I like them actually. They're reasonably priced. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, your channels, guys, if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you in the next time I go live. I'm not sure. Probably be sometime later on this week coming up. Peace. Hey, yeah.